Hi, good morning and welcome to today's products in focus. Most global markets are still on the downside. You can see here just the incredible volatility that we had there in the US 30, having spiked up um, earlier on in the in the morning there after, after coming off. You see this massive rebound, only to get pushed all the way back down again. One of the most aggressive moves I've seen on the, uh, on the US 30 for some time, where it's, it's been up so much to only retreat back down to negative territory. We're on the wrong side of potential um, support slash resistance at 17,546. Next potential support is at 17,361. This is a real, real ugly um, candle formation we have right here. Looking at the UK 100, the pain just got piled on later on in that session. Um, with that sell-off continued as the right on oil um, kind of spilled over, really hurting a lot of uh, like BP, Shell, um, Primary Oil, a number of other um, oil companies, a lot of mining companies as well, who've got um, big stakes in, in energy, uh, BHP, Rio, all the miners got really badly hurt yesterday as well. Uh, and now we're at 6,400. Um, this is quite negative as well, could be broken below a psychological uh, level. Or, well, not, well, let me just go ahead and draw that on. That was a broken potential resistance, which now was expected to act as a, a potential support. It didn't. All it's acting now is a cap stopping the uh, UK 100 from breaking up higher. 64.15 is that potential resistance level. Longer term potential support is at 60.73. And crude oil actually broke $60 overnight, but we'll come back to that in a second. Japan 225 um, managed to rally back up to potential resistance 17.496. Again, capped. Long legged candles yesterday. Another long legged candle today. Uh, as dollar yen has managed to, well, the US dollar managed to make up some lost ground against um, the Japanese yen, but not a huge amount. Um, and we had some data come out from China as well, which was okay. Um, retail sales was better than expected, but industrial production was worse than expected. A real kind of mishmash. And uh, it looks to be that a lot of economies now are looking at this plunging oil price as uh, being an issue for, in regards to deflation, um, where they're worried that uh, people will not be buying quite so many goods and they want people to be spending more money. And um, obviously the price of oil impacts the prices of, uh, of consumer goods to a certain degree. So people are buying the same amount, but actually ends up costing them less. That can have problems for the economy as well. So looking at um, dollar yen, you can see the volatility we had yesterday. We're trying to push on that a little bit higher today. The US dollar wants to go higher. Ultimately, the fundamentals behind the, the greenback are, are a lot more positive than you know the Eurozone, for example, where they're talking about stimulus and cutting back. Um, potential resistance is going to be at 119. We ticked our head above there yesterday. Again, there today, um, fingers crossed, we're actually able to get our head above that again to be able to re-challenge uh, you know, 120-180. So moving on to crude oil, West Texas, uh, it broke 59.50, uh, which is obviously a level we've been looking at for uh, quite a while. The next potential resistance is uh, quite a bit further away. Uh, I need to go to my weekly charts here for a second to, to really try and find something more suitable. Um, people ask me, well, where, where, where's the floor in this? Obviously, it's wherever the Saudis want it to be. Um, I think you can probably pick out a level there of uh, around about $55 potentially uh, maybe we can even no it's probably to be fair I probably have already be here so around about um, $54.80 um, that's going to be as a, a next potential level for us to go ahead and have a look at so um, could be acting as a cap now at 59.50 it's very very low for crude oil we know we were at 120 not long ago so very interesting to see how that pans out gold has lost uh, some of its momentum um, albeit we are obviously still trading above 2018, that's going to be the next potential support. This could be a retracement for us to be challenged 1242. Ultimately, I don't think the rally in gold has got like a lot of longevity left in it. Um, interest rates, US dollar will come back into focus at some point, uh, albeit there has been an extended period of profit taking after such strong rallies across most of the other FX markets. So um, gold already down today, though it is quite volatile as soon as the uh, safe haven status elements come into play for Japanese yen and gold, you know, this, this could still be quite interesting and uh, people are certainly looking a little bit more fearful out there in regards to the short-term moves on the equity markets, especially when you look at the chart here for the UK 100. Uh, it's not looking very pretty at all. So finishing up there with uh, with uh, Euro USD reversal yesterday, uh, dipping down again today. Uh, as ever, one spot 23.79 uh, is going to be that pivot area. Break below that, we are looking at one spot 20. 47 as the next potential support level. Um, now there's not much happening for the rest of December in regards to economic announcements, um, but there is, um, well even today there is um, 
PPI from the US and then the University of Michigan Consumer Sentiment Survey, uh, which could be interesting. If you're looking at dollar yen, um, your dollar a cable, those are the figures you want to be aware of. Finishing up there with GBP USD, um, actually a little bit of a reversal compared to euro dollar, but we had a, a rechallenge one spot 57.43. Um, it's ticking down ever so slightly now, but uh, it's almost um, a, the last couple of sessions, almost a mirror image of what's come out of euro dollar. So we might actually have a bit of momentum here. So this could be kind of interesting as a potential breakout at one spot uh, 57.43. Uh, depends where the UK sits versus the other uh, countries out there. So we've already covered coming out today. Let's see what's actually happening on Monday. Uh, not a huge amount. Tuesday, uh, you've got okay, a whole host of UK data, UK CPI, PPI, ZEW business report from Germany. So if you're, you're a dollar cable trader, there's certainly enough to keep you going. I can see the UK market's already opened up and the UK miners have taken another tumble. Royal Dutch Shell down again um, as, the, as that oil price continues to, to hit equity markets right across the globe. Anyway, keep you on the chart forum as ever. Make insights part of your layer. Join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.